According to these documents, internal CIA emails and memos, it took just over three hours to destroy 92 videotapes showing suspected al-Qaeda leader Abu Zubaydah being waterboarded 83 times. That number, a violation of what was approved by the Bush administration. Incriminating evidence that, according to this timeline, the CIA was told to keep by the Bush administration in 2004. But the next year, in 2005, days after the secret CIA prisons were exposed, the head of the clandestine services, Jose Rodriguez, gave the order, get rid of the tapes. According to this memo, quote, Jose said, the heat from destroying is nothing compared to what it would be if the tapes ever got into public domain. He said that out of context, they would make us look terrible. It would be devastating to us. The heat could be a criminal trial for obstructing justice. A federal investigation has been underway for more than two years. It hopes to answer the question, who else knew about the tapes being destroyed? According to this memo, the recollection of an unnamed CIA employee, the then head of the CIA, Porter Goss, didn't know in advance, but when told, quote, agreed with the decision. The paperwork also seems to clear those closest to President Bush, saying his chief lawyer, Harriet Myers, was, quote, livid when she found out the tapes had been destroyed. A first glimpse into what went on in the secretive world of the CIA, but likely not the last, as federal prosecutors decide who, if anyone, should, as the internal documents describe it, take the heat, a subject Goss is said to have laughed about. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.